I've just finished recording tomorrow's video and in that video I'm taking a handful of minifigures, Lego Star Wars minifigures off the figure display which makes it much easier to have recorded that one first because today we're going to take the minifigure display, hopefully make it a little bit bigger but I have a ton of minifigures that I'd now like to add to that now that a few of the minifigures are off. Basically it's a bit empty, we're going to restock it and also rebuild it from the ground up. I have a few non-lego plates that i think i can whack at different levels just to help support the whole thing because i have updated it since i last made a video on it i don't think i've shown you the updates that i've made i definitely recorded a few clips they just didn't really fit in any video so we'll take a look at that first and then we'll rebuild it not from the ground up but some things will have to be built from scratch i always forget just how many minifigures we actually have on this display here until I have it on my desk. Can you imagine me trying to fit this on my first desk? I'll show a clip of the Venator on the desk. It's a little bigger than the Venator and that barely fit in frame. So I'm very happy to have this, well, a desk that can fit not only this, but multiple things. Cause here we have my Lego head, which is used to store all of my Lego minifigures. Right now it only has the Star Wars ones in it, but I do have a few Ninjago and other minifigures that are in here. Basically everything that isn't Marvel or another popular license. And we have the minifigures from tomorrow's video. So I'll try not to give too much of that away. We also have a few different army builders. We've got all of my stormtroopers, which will not be going on this display. I'll try and keep this clear of any of them except for the Mandalorians by the looks and the odd Imperial Commando where it fits in in Mando. And there's one in Rebels as well just on the end here. I have a bag of clones. They're not going to be used yet. We'll get on to why I'm listing these in a second. Also got my droid army in a bag, which isn't as big as the clones. And then my final slash first order. I've bunched them together. They're pretty much the same in my eyes. One's white, one's red, and that's the only difference I can see. But I count four armies and then tomorrow's video as well. One, two, three, four, five. It's like it was made just to hold them minifigures. So what I'll probably do before ordering a second one of these just to check they fit is move these all into Ziploc bags based on their series. These are all these CMF characters if you weren't already aware. And then in the middle we have the 20th anniversary Star Wars minifigures. I don't know if I'll get enough of the 25th anniversary to have them displayed the same. I'm just missing parts of Vader and Han and then I don't have any parts for Lando. I don't even think I have the base for Lando. So I have to find that somewhere. I've got all of my old classic space minifigures, which if it focuses, you'll hopefully recognize alongside the purple one down here. Didn't fit with the other six. And it also goes with the CMF alien space character that I stole the torso from to be able to build the purple space suit. And you can see surrounding it, there are a ton of incomplete CMF series. The only complete license series I've got is the Looney Tunes. I've got half of the Simpsons, probably just over half of the Simpsons, about half of the Muppets and a few Lego Movie too. I think there's a few Marvel ones as well in my Marvel collection, but I'm not too fast on collecting all of them. I would like to have all of these series complete, at least from the classic Lego ones. I'm not going back to the start, that's too expensive, but Eventually, I would like to get the special Star Wars figs at the top, then perhaps have four different armies above the updated display, which will go here. You don't see this a lot without it. I don't think you've ever really got the chance to see it without it. So BD stands one side, Rex stands the other, and I do have this chopper as well from the new buildable droids because I think it's quite a cool little droid. Though I'd love for Lego to make a bigger one to scale with the 90 pound r2d2 but that was just my long-winded way of saying they're not going on this display so hopefully that explains a few plans i've got for the future i do have this bag of minifigures which you can see there are a few various we've got a few mandos in here we've got some death watch troopers as well so maybe i could have a row for the mandalorians up there as well a bunch of droids we've got a guavian death gang member a senate trooper which should probably go in with the clones so i'll have to check this out a few republic troopers as well and i did have a row empty for skeleton crew i would like to get the skeleton crew figures at some point similar to right at the bottom 
we have the Young Jedi Adventures figures. And I would like to get Nubs and the other two to complete my collection. But I'm not too fast. If I see them on sale, I'll pick them up and add them and probably make a short about it. For now, this is all of my minifigures that are going to be combined onto here. And as I said, hopefully we can make this a little bigger because we have a few figs sticking off. We've got Yoda, we've got Anakin, and we've even got my custom Sabine, which I don't know if I'll keep here or move to the Lego City. But upon turning it around, you can see that it's, it's not too stable at all. I can just pull these supports out from underneath. If something crashed into this from the back or the sides, I think this whole thing would fall. So like I mentioned, I've got some plates to add into the middle, and hopefully that will just make it a bit more secure. The middle column is actually quite good because that's been built out of bricks, but these sides definitely need some improvement. I don't know how far the plates will fit. I'm hoping they at least bridge between these two end ones, and then we can just have some bricks stacked up in the corners, and that might mean not only we get to widen this middle gap here, which only is four studs between them, and that's because I've got a bunch of two by sixes on the top there. But also it might give us a few extra bricks to eventually add a layer on top or add a layer in front. And really this video could go any direction. So I'll try and remove the base plate from this and flip it upside down to see what plates we can get where. And then I think we'll move from there. Before I tear any of it down, I do have the plates here and you can see quite clearly they're not going to fit across the whole thing. So I think I'm definitely going to keep the patterns on the sides because they do look quite colourful and it just brings a bit of colour to what otherwise is usually quite a grey and dull display. So I quite like that. The minifigures are colourful themselves and I don't know whether I'll want them on both sides because one side's going to have BD and the Disney castle. So we might be able to remove this in some attempt to expand one of the other sides, but the 48 studs of this base plate go the whole length of the unit anyway. So I don't know if that's going to help in any case, but you can see if we add this plate in probably about here and then another one just further along, it's gonna free up so much space. There's actually gonna be some storage behind it. So perhaps we can fit some of our spare minifigures behind the display, but hopefully this turns out to be quite straightforward. I still am undecided if I'm gonna expand it with ways. I'm going to measure up and that will be the final thing we decide. But first off, we've got to remove all of these minifigures from the top. And I mean, it's going to be quick, but it's not going to be great because I spent so much time organizing these figures. At least it beats moving them around to fit the new minifigures towards the end. You might have thought when the minifigures were on here that it might not have looked like anything was wrong with it. But now that I've cleared the minifigures, you can see Right down the middle, there is this giant gap where there should really be a load of the one by ones. And hopefully when clearing out the inside, we can have a few more to put up the middle and just close in that gap. You can see a few of them have fallen through that we'll have to collect as well. And hopefully just have as few black and gray pieces showing. It's got a little beat up in flipping it over and taking off the bottom, but there's only one real way I can do this, and that is just to grab all of these pieces, pull them out, and just core out the inside of this display. Sort of like a pumpkin, I guess. Break it all down and then start from scratch. As you can see, I have started taking it down and pulled off one of the sides to fit on the base plate, just so I knew what height to keep to them. And I've got one of these middle layers in, and then I've got three of the stands for the next one. And I'm actually gonna stack them on the previous one. You can see at the back, there's only two studs, but I am building this up using two by two. So I'm just gonna overlap, I think it was rednecks, overlap it just like this. So I can stand the next plate on that plate and just get it a bit more secure so that everything's connected to everything, especially when these sides are very flimsy and there's nothing actually holding the sides in. Perhaps I should have revisited that and at least connected them at certain points. I could always at least do it there just to stop them falling. But then again, if I ever want to expand this or change the side, I can just pop it off. It's very easy. The hard part is gonna be attaching these plates on top. And we're getting along, we're about halfway through now. But I've realized something that's a little problematic. You'll see if I pan down, we only have six one by one bricks left, which you can see we're using so many for this project. 
That is how many we've got left, and we've got a lot of these 2x6 plates to stack up the middle. We do have quite a few red and green 1x2s, which I could probably get around to using for the middle bits. But I think I'm going to add all these on. I've also just noticed we've got a bottom plate here. Not quite a bottom plate, one off the bottom that also needs a lot of 1x. So I think I'm definitely going to have to tap into that red and green 1x2 and just go back, replace all the bottom rows here with one by two bricks instead of one by one. And hopefully that gives us enough to go over all of the others. But we've got so, so many bricks spare. And this is going to be really good because I can actually use these and finally get back around to building the Minecraft scene. These would be great in building up the terrain and especially instead of using Lego bricks, these were so cheap. I think they worked out to a penny per brick and I can understand a one by one and a two by four aren't going to cost the same but because there were random amounts in these boxes they all worked out to be a penny per brick so this was really good to get I'll leave the playlist of this on the end screen if you did want to go back and check how we started from scratch or what bricks we're using because these aren't official Lego bricks don't tell Lego that but as you can see there are no Lego logos on the ends of these studs I think these plates as well are from Wilco before they shut down all their physical stores. I don't know if you can still order them online, but they are quite sturdy. They're not as brittle as most other non-Lego companies. And we've built up a few legs to support that, a few more than I showed you at the start. We'll take a look at that right now, probably. Before I cover it and get rid of too much light, let's take a look at the other legs. You can see for each of these big plates here, we've got a leg on each of the corners where they have met you can see I've just overlapped it made sure to build this giant plate and they are plates rather than base plates hopefully you'll be able to see on the underside of it that there's a few of the anti studs on the bottom so it does add up to a plate which is why I've included two Lego plates underneath it and these are official Lego pieces just because this was a brick box and there were no plates included but I've also added not only an extra leg in the middle of this plate, but also one just between the two to support that center of it, just so there's not too much weight acting on the edges of these plates. So this right here is absolutely solid and I can press down a mini figures and then to support each of the rows here, we've got a nice solid column here, which once again is not budging. It's very similar to what I had going up the middle of it anyway. It's just supported by the plate so underneath we can get rid of all of that unnecessary brick and put it towards the minecraft scene which hopefully i will have an update it's been months since i've done anything on the minecraft display slowly we've been gathering more magazine poly bags so we've got more creatures and characters to add but there will be updates hopefully very very soon we're talking like a month or two at most so if you are holding on for it hang on just a little bit more because now we've got the bricks to build up the terrain and there will be official lego plates and everything on top i wouldn't chance any of my minifigures minecraft star wars whatever theme on these bricks just because i know loads of people have problems with their figures cracking so i do have official lego plates on top of all these bricks i'm just using them for a bit of cheap color on the minifigure display and as I was saying about the plates on here, we've got these one by one columns just to support them in the middle because you don't want to leave all that empty. If we take a look underneath and I can spin that round, you can see that that is quite a large gap, but they only leave about five studs, six studs gap either side of this column. So that's enough for it to support itself without any bow. And you're looking at two, maybe three minifigures max across this gap. And that is not going to crumble under any amount of pressure. You remove this middle column here, which because it's only six bricks is actually quite hard to do. But you're just going to have to take my word that that's going to bow. And you could potentially even crack the plate on top with enough pressure. So I'm happy that you can get quite a bit of force on top. Again, you put too much force. We haven't supported this plate at the back. There's a little bit of a wobble. Perhaps we can stack up a few bricks here, but I'm not really too worried. I don't add and take away minifigures too much to this display. So I'll update you once I've got as many of the other plates on as I can. And then we'll see how many of these colorful one by bricks I'm going to have to switch out for any two by or one by two. I'd like to keep all the colors in a row. So perhaps 
we'll have to take a look at swapping some of the edge bricks from 2x4s to 4x4s, freeing up a 1x4 and then adding the 1x4s. Either way, we'll take a look at that when we get there. Now it's time to add all the rest of the plates. And it seems that we actually have enough 1x2 bricks just down here to finish off the little gap. But in terms of the middle, we are left with this one green 1x2. One so I don't really know what I'm going to do with the middle just yet. I could always fill it up with some Lego bricks. I'll be honest, I don't think I've got that many blue red green and yellow brick so for now i'm just gonna well i guess there's no point adding this brick we'll add this brick under here so that if you've made it to this part of the video you haven't skipped ahead you'll know that there is a green brick hidden in this unit but i'm just gonna add i can't even add the two by sixes because i need an extra brick on the side and i probably should have thought that through before doing this i guess we could always use some of the 2x2 two two bricks because when it comes to making terrain, we're mostly going to be using those 2x4s in the corner. So I'll probably use some 2x2 two two bricks, but that green 1x2 is staying there. So only me and you know that is going to be there. And as you can see, I should be able just to pick up this whole row of 1x2s and very carefully just slot it into place. Hopefully none of these will be able to fall backwards because then I'll have to take this whole thing apart and I'm not really sure how much I'll have to break it down. It was not easy to break the original display down, but a bit easier than I thought it would be. And I've also just noticed that coming up along the right hand side, we do have not a problem, but a little difference that I was worried about. I mentioned about using the two by two bricks here in the middle. That was a lot harder than I thought. And the problem with that was going to be we have two colours joined up three times in the middle. Well, if you take a look and focus more so on this right hand side down here, you'll notice that on the edge there are two colours the whole way up. And that is because I did somewhat cheat. Oh no, no, the whole way up. There's a red and a green next to them. So do I switch that out or do I keep it? We did have that green one by two that isn't yet covered. Oh no, yellow and blue. Yeah, we don't have enough pieces for that. So there's going to be two that don't follow this pattern. But I did take the side of the old display and just add that to the new one. Honestly, I didn't think I'd take as long building this as I did. I still need to recall tomorrow's short, which is... I think tomorrow's short is about this figure display. So hopefully this video goes out before then it might be the following day i don't know i lose track with shorts but this is looking so good we just got to get some two by twos on these panels and then we can start adding the minifigures that's right the minifigures are going on in this video i'm not going to make you wait for a part two because i'll forget about this and this will just sit in the background and as i said i need it for the short anyway so let's get this done and start looking at how we're adding the minifigures back on so the stand has been finished and we've got all our minifigures now that we need to add it doesn't look too bad with that middle bit it's definitely noticeable when the figures aren't there but it's going to be hidden in just a second and i've also kept all of like the round one by ones that i used to stand the helmets on and the other official lego pieces just in this tray here which is what i use it's a dip tray i think it's meant to be for you know you've got your different cucumber sticks carrot sticks and your nachos and then you've got your dip in the middle although i'd probably just have one thing in the middle and like five different dips if i was going to eat off it but this instead has my two by threes my two by twos one by fours one by twos one by ones and i've gone with the bigger tub for two by fours because they were not fitting in this and as i said they're going towards minecraft I don't know how I'm going to store them because that was my only tub. So this tray might be hanging around in the background for a few weeks. Let me know in the comments if you do spot it in a future video. But hopefully I can clear this section and get in all the minifigures back on their display. I've populated the display with all of my minifigures bar in one, which is this replica Padme Amidala. But she can go back in the city for now because... She doesn't really fit on any of these displays. So I have to workshop that. And she's actually taller than a regular minifigure because of the headpiece. It adds like an extra torso's height. 
but it's looking really, really cool. I've worked on this a lot later than I thought. I didn't think I'd still be working on this at eight o'clock, but here we are, and I've still got to do the short for tomorrow. Rest assured, I'll get it done, and you'll be able to see it when this video goes up. Perhaps I can link that on the end screen. I don't know if I can link shorts on the end screen. I'll give it a go. You'll see it if you stick to the end of this video. But we haven't finished here yet because I'm not going to go over every minifigure. I mean, you can see most of them. If you would like me to go over every minifigure on this display, and then when I update my next display, I can do one on that as well. Let me know by dropping a like on this video and leaving a comment. If not, go over to my shorts because I have a minifigure series that is, well, it's nearly 40, nearly 50 episodes in, and I'm going over all your comments on different types of minifigures. We've had Jedi and Sith quite early on. We've had clone troopers. Then we've had other categories like arm printing, or I think one of the ones coming up is minifigures that have specific molds for their legs, be it dress pieces or anything that isn't the regular minifigure leg. So definitely give it a watch. I'll probably compile the first 50 when we get there, but now it's time to put this back on the unit. And eight hours later, you can see it really doesn't look that much different. But the important bit is this is all the minifigures that won't be on that display in a few weeks time hopefully i get around to that soon but i would like to build a few marks and i've got a busy week ahead of me so there probably won't be that many builds this week next week it's going to be mock heavy and then we can get onto the display and everything else i think by then it will almost be time to pick up the advent as well it's been a long day and a long video perhaps i have no idea how much footage i've recorded i've still got to edit this and i was hoping to go to bed in an hour so i don't think that would be possible but I really like how it turned out and now that there's not the really minifigure gaps of the ones that I took to put up in the display again hopefully we can tackle that soon. Don't forget to head over to the shorts to check out the minifigures we're looking at today and check out all the other videos on screen. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy the video and thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. May the bricks be with you always.